everyone welcome back to another video on our channel and this video is going to be regarding the Accenture updates so if you are following my channel from previous few days I have been posting regularly about Accenture all the updates and those people who have completed their cognitive and coding assessment few days ago I have said that they have already sent the results and all and next they are going to get the communication assessment updates so finally there is a big update regarding the communication assessment coming from Accenture we are going to see all the updates about that but before moving on if you are new to the channel make sure to click on the subscribe button join our telegram and whatsapp channels from the description box link and also make sure to click on the bell icon after subscribing because we post multiple hiring onboarding interview and onboarding updates every day regularly make sure not to miss out so let's see what is the update coming from Accenture first of all they are sending one whatsapp message ok so let's see what is the whatsapp message they are sending so today again they are sending this message okay earlier update was already they have said that there next will be your communication round and all uh, again they are sending uh, whatsapp message that uh, dear candidate congratulations on completing the first set of assessment that is the cognitive and coding both together as the first set of assessment because they happens on the same day congratulations on completing on that and you are now eligible to take our communication assessment okay so they have clearly written that you are eligible for taking the communication assessment Please complete your communication assessment within the given timeline. They are asking to complete the communication uh, assessment within given timeline. But suddenly uh, some people might ask like what is the given timeline? They have not been given any timeline and all. We will come to that. Also they have said this is a mandatory step in the hiring process. I have again and again said in my all previous videos that this particular communication assessment is uh, mandatory and not only mandatory this is going to be a termination round elimination round okay so if you are not able to clear this round with good marks you can expect termination okay very few percentage of candidates will be will be getting eliminated in that round but these marks you have to score good okay because these marks will also get considered for your final uh, selection process okay because they uh, check the total marks of all the rounds so then they are asking to check the inbox and spam folders for the mail so by seeing this we have understood that the mail is also coming so let's see what is the mail they are sending now the mail is saying that uh, getting started with the communication assessment so congratulations you have cleared our first set of assessment same thing they are saying that you are eligible now for communication assessment and all but here they have mentioned the time frame so your assessment will be active from Monday that is May 6, 2024 11.59 pm till Thursday May 9, 11.59 pm okay. So they have given a time frame of almost 4, 3 to 4 days you can say okay and they the started time limit is uh, Monday 6 that is Monday 6th May but the mail is coming after almost uh, half a day is completed of the 7th May okay so that is what's wrong with Accenture everything here is a random and haphazard because the uh, timing of the exam started yesterday now they are sending mails so basically but uh, the time frame is long here so there is not going to be any issue because uh, till uh, 9th May we can give the exam on any day so that is that uh, they have sent the time frame as well as they have obviously sent your link for checking the compatibility with the system I will highly recommend before going for the communication assessment check your compatibility because this is going to be one of the main things uh, I have already posted a detailed video about how and what type of questions you can expect in the communication round make sure to check that video before going for the communication round another video I will post about the mistakes you should not make during your communication round I'll post that by today okay many people have not followed my previous video, uh, video of the mistakes before going for the exams and in the exams they did that same mistakes and they have lost their opportunity so do not give your communication exams without watching these two videos because again after some issues will happen in the exam and after that you will ask and comment that what will happen what to do how to reschedule nothing will be done after that nothing can can be done after that so before going for the exam must check these two videos so I'll give the links in the description box you can check from there they have also sent the, the exam link that is the link you have to go to for the exam and also they have said to keep few things in mind that you should have a room which do not have any background noise any music uh, or any uh, people must be talking background these things type of any noise should not be there and ensure you have a power supply uninterrupted data connectivity and also during the assessment you must be visible in the camera and if you are not you are, you are not permitted to take any breaks in between the exam and the assessment must be taken within one go mandatorily you should not be logging out and again logging in like 
uh, what happened to many people uh, in the earlier exam uh, some due to some reason like low internet or any other reasons also they have logged out and when they logged in they saw that the exam already submitted these things are happening so do not do that also and they have given url password and all you can go and check from your test uh, mails uh, you can go and check your mailbox and spam folder if you are eligible for this particular round so that's it if you have any other queries about this make sure to comment down